person investing a total amount invested a total amount of rupees 15 lakhs a part of it was invested in an, a fixed deposit earning 6% the remaining amount was invested in two other deposits in the ratio 2 is to 1 earning annual interest at the rate of 4% and 3%. If the total annual interest income is 76,000, then the amount invested in fixed deposit was in rupees lakhs. Let's say X lakhs is invested here. Then 15 minus X is invested there. Wonderful. So what will be invested at this percent? Two thirds of 15 minus X. At this level, at three percent, is one third of fifteen minus x. We are through. Six percent of x plus two thirds of fifteen minus x into four percent plus one third of fifteen minus x into three percent equals seventy-six thousand. But remember, this is in lakhs. That is in thousand. We need to simplify that. I'm going to rewrite this expression. Six percent of x plus two thirds of fifteen minus x into four percent plus one third of fifteen minus x into three percent equals point seven six l or six times x. I'm going to multiply by hundred plus two thirds of fifteen minus x into four plus one third of fifteen minus x. Into three equals seventy-six. Simplify this, and we can find x. Right? So, let's say we expand this. This is fifteen minus x into eight by three plus one six x plus fifteen minus x into eleven by three. Two into four is eight. Eight by three. This is one. Eight by three plus one is eleven by three equals seventy-six. Or 6x plus 15 into 11, 165. 6x into 3, 15 into 11 minus 11x equals 76 into 3. So 165 plus 18x minus 11x equals 63 sir 18, 81, 21 plus 1, 22, 228. Or 7x equals 228 minus 165. Three twelve minus six is six sixty three. Seven x equals sixty three. X is nine, or nine lakhs are deposited in fixed deposit. Remaining six lakhs is deposited in this ratio at four and three percent to generate an interest of this. Once you frame the equation, the solving part is still time consuming and tough, but not impossible.